Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hi, Dave here. It is absolutely beautiful out. I'm talking probably so far the best day we've had uh, this uh, this like spring and summer here. Even though summer just started, it's like 75 degrees and beautiful out. Low humidity. How is everybody doing? Well, I hope. I want to show you guys something. <clears throat> Pardon my <laughs> out of breathedness. It was a steep climb. I've been walking a little bit here. I want to show you uh, how the signs, uh, how they leave trails for themselves. And I don't mean trails um, like this. And I'm speaking of Sasquatch, they leave tree breaks and stick leans as trails. And this is how I found, this is how I found my second structure in here. Uh, oh, it doesn't matter what order it's in, it was actually my third, but nonetheless, this is how I did not stumble across this structure. I followed stick leans and tree breaks and found this structure now you'll you'll see it i don't know whether it was uh built by sasquatch it it looks uh pretty symmetrical um let's see i missed my opening i was here in the spring when i found it so this is a lot denser let me return to where I thought it was. It's funny because there was a couple of tree breaks up here. Uh, and, and, the, and the tree break was on the ground. And, and I'm noticing that the trail that was easy for me to find is not so easy anymore. It's almost like now that I've been down there, it's been changed. I want to say it's right down that. I'm up on a ridge. This trail follows a ridge off this way to the south. And this just kind of continues all the way around down further. I think this is where I entered. So time to bushwhack. No trail. So at the time when I was hiking through here, it was a day when I was searching for that missing hiker, uh, Donald Flint, and I had the thought that maybe he fell and rolled down this ridge here. Holy spiderweb. I'm glad I stopped to uh, point up the hill. Let me get rid of that because I don't feel like walking into it. So, pardon me, sorry spider, but I got, uh, I got things to do. So, I came down in this area here, and I kind of was following these sticks, like right here, guys, right? See in here, all of these sticks that are jammed in between, uh, the crook of that little other tree coming up so i said okay um that's something now it, like i said at the time i was looking for for that gentleman so i'm kind of doing two things at the same time and i kind of faintly kind of could see a little bit of of what looked like it was a traveled area i thought okay maybe you know i'm looking at a um a game trail So I continued further. I always get that. It's just this is the I think the third time I've been down here, and I kept telling myself, "Oh, I'm coming back to this place." And I, I actually been I've been avoiding it because of uh, I just have been because there's a little bit of a a little bit of a creepiness factor that goes along with this area. Oh, 
I'm seeing some new things here. I guess I'm gonna say I haven't been here in, I haven't been here in a little bit. Okay, so I ran into this, guys, right? And, and this has now since changed since I was here last. There's like a little blind right here. I don't know if you can see it well. I hope it's coming out. Now all of this debris was up here and it made almost like a little roof. And right up there, out, there's that, there's the trail I was on. And I, I ran into this and I said, there's no way, there's no way that this is random in any way. This here is new, all of this debris here, that wasn't there before. Looks like it was collected. Uh, and then there's a game trail that comes right down and right in front of this blind and curls around this way. But this little blind right here, I could easily sit right here behind here and watch the game come right in front of me. If I was a hunter, you can't hunt in this part of the park. I'm not saying that people don't do it anyways, but this just looked to me like a blind, you know what I mean? Something that was kind of cruelly constructed. So, oh, I'm hearing stuff. So I continued, I went this way because at the time, like I said, I was kind of doing that search and I thought, Maybe if that gentleman rolled down this hill, he got disorientated and went off into the woods instead of back up. So I decided to do that. Uh, this is so grown in from, uh, I was here, I guess I'm gonna say it was just late winter. Maybe we had a good day or something. And see, so I, I, I was seeing, this is without a doubt a game trail. It goes right up, right up onto that ridge line where the trail is. I mean, it, I can see it so well. I hope it comes out on the camera. So I had decided to follow it. Oh, so, God, this is so grown in. I, I, maybe it's been a little longer than I thought. So I followed the game trail, thinking that that would be the the easiest uh, the easiest way to travel if I was a disorientated hiker I would take the path less uh, most traveled and this is it God this is completely different from just a few months ago all of this is all down it, it's almost it's a lot more difficult for me to get here than it was the first time Where did these trees come from? Okay, anyways, let's not get let's not get off topic here. So I do want to make sure I'm not alone here. Um, hello? Just for the mere fact if there was a homeless person living out here or People in general are nuts anyways, so, including myself, please, don't think I'm singling anybody out. So, I made my way this way. I am going real slow here, guys, only because I haven't been here, and, and when I was here, I heard things from where I'm standing. Uh, the structure is right there, I can almost see it, but I kept moving because of this. I didn't see that structure. So, I saw this here, this, all this debris shoved all different ways inside the, the crooks of the tree where the stumps come up. So, I continued to travel still what looks like a game trail. I'm just panning around here, guys, just because I, I, I've been going back and looking at my, my own videos. And, um, I, I, I like it, too, when I hear birds close to me. 
you know, if there is, I've heard, and it makes so much sense, if there's a predator in this area right now, whether it's a black bear or something like that, usually they stay quiet. And it kind of, kind of lets me know of at least a little bit that I, I, I am possibly alone out here, not, not what we're going to call a black bear, my friend. Even though they're really not, generally they don't come down this far south in New England. Okay, so right about here is when I realized what I was walking into. And uh, I, I couldn't believe it from this angle. I, I'm like, I couldn't believe what I had found. I was nervous. I stopped and stood here. There's a, a water source right here, plenty of water. There's another like a like a river or stream that runs right next to me over here. It's really slow flowing, but in the in the runoff of the rain, it, it flows pretty good. I'm hearing something retreating over here and back here. I, that's too loud. I do a pretty good job, guys, believe it or not, of keeping myself in check and not being freaked out. This looks so traveled here, so matted down, and yet to get here, there's not easy, like a uh, simple way of egress to get down that, that ridge. So you really legitimately gotta just make the leap and say to yourself, I'm doing it. I'm gonna go down there and, and bushwhack and, and get off the trail. So here it is, you guys. This is uh, the third, I think, one that I have found. But I found this using stick brakes and tree leans and those uh, subtle sign. This, I also heard here two whoops the day that I had made a video when I first found this. And I was standing over here and right at the end of the video, I said, thanks for clicking. And I was just about to shut off the camera and you could distinctly hear a whoop. And when I shut the camera, it clicked off. There was two in a row, but I only picked up one. So let's go around this thing a little bit, you guys. There's been nobody down here, it seems. It does, because of, uh, at least not to this morning, because of all the cobwebs I walked into. So I'm pretty sure unless it was uh, something smaller than me walking through here. I just cleared a path from <laughs> all the cobwebs all over my face and spider webs. So, you know, I, I can almost envision, I got a spider crawling up my arm. I can almost envision a group of kids uh, working on this. And, but, but, I don't know if it was something that there was a, an original structure here and it was added onto. I had a commenter mention that on one of my other structures. That's brand new there. That's a blanket of some sort that was not there. So this has been used out here. Or someone wanted the appearance of it being used really cool I mean when I first saw it I was like wow this thing is awesome and, and I came over to this side I believe first and I just noticed more more spider webs I'm walking into I just noticed how everything is just so like geometric geometrical you know what I mean really straight uh, as well as the back wall really really straight and, and you've got this nice main main uh, a beam across there and then you've got a column right in the middle uh, a supporting column but it's really cool in here i'm six foot four 
I'm standing, I'm standing up in here, and right at this main, this main beam here, it, it's probably still another six inches above me. This is a pretty large structure. Feels, um, feels like a really neat place to hang out. I see that there has been a small fire here. Not a, there's no, not a raging fire by any means, but it almost looks like someone tried to get a blaze going. So you've had some kids down here and it, it, it has the appearance that this has been a little, someone has discovered this since the last time I was here because there's very little debris in here. Uh, I was looking for um, tool marks on on the ends of these, which I, I, I don't know necessarily think that that that, that ha uh, means that you know Bigfoot constructed it. You know, I, but I often when I see the root ball still on a, on on one of these, and you know, I almost feel if I was out here with the intention of making a really, really badass fort, right? I'd bring a saw. I would bring some lashing. I, I don't know, I mean, maybe uh, whoever built this had, had the intention of doing, of doing just that, not using tools and no lashing. But, because I don't see a lot of cut marks. You know, they all seem to be broken right off. Uh, of course, what you would use is deadfall. You, you know what I mean? You, you, would, you would collect uh, just stuff that's on the ground, which is actually the easiest way to do it. Unless you want the structure to last, you know, a long, long time, I guess you could cut down live stuff, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't do that. I don't know how long this has been here. All right, this, um, I don't know, you guys, if there are those of you that have already seen this thing and have commented on it, but I wanted to come back to it again and just kind of revisit it like I did with that other one. Uh, a week ago, I took a walk out to where I found that first one, and I wanted to come back to this one. Let me know, too, what you think about that little, that little blind that I found that it just is so conveniently next to a game trail. Well, I'm gonna head out. I got a couple of the places that I wanna go today. It's beautiful out, like I said, gorgeous weather. All right, you guys, thank you so much for clicking, and I'll definitely see you on the next one.